Hi, here is a lesson on how to create area art, or art using the math of area. So to first start off, you always need your name and a title. And then using different geometric shapes, you can draw a picture. Now you can just start drawing your lines with the ruler to get an idea. I planned something out first, and we'll see if you can figure out what I was trying to draw when I'm finished. So I'm going to start with my straight edge and connect some dots that I've made. You don't have to use dots if you don't want to, I just found that it helped me plan things out. Some people um, did really pretty pictures of a panda bear standing in a bamboo forest. Someone else drew a picture of a boy walking a dog on a leash. You have lots of different options that you can use. You're only limited by your imagination. And um, you, you want to use a straight edge. It gives you a nice crisp line. It also lets you really count your squares accurately. You're going to draw anything you like. Now this doesn't have a regular shape, does it? And so it's going to be difficult to just find the area of all these different rectangles. So what you can do in this case is you'll just draw it first and then later you can separate it into different sections to do your area. So I'll just keep drawing these. I would wait, wait to color it in until the very end. So if you've made any mistakes or you want to change anything, you still can. There we go. I wonder if you can tell what I'm trying to draw yet. See what I've got here. And it's okay if you make mistakes. You can try. I would like everyone to make me a book, a collection of some area artwork. You can also just do abstract art. You can just do any kind of different shapes you want to see if it can look the way that you want. Now I noticed I put dots here, but I, now that I'm looking at it, I don't really care for that, so I'm going to lower it. So if I'm not using dots, I can just trace it where I want it. That's okay. Sometimes it's nice to plan out, sometimes it's nice just to let it happen. Let's see. All right. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I like things to be even. They don't have to be. All right, can you tell what I'm making? If you guessed a robot, then you were correct. Now, you'll notice that later I can add in other parts of this that are not for area, and that's perfectly fine. But you want to draw in the areas that are geometric first and measure those, and then you can add in some other features. All right, so here's my robot. Whoops, I forgot a line. There. Now, later maybe I want to come in and add some buttons and maybe eyes and a mouth, but for right now, this is my area. Now, I know that the area of rectangles and squares is base times height, but this is not a regular shape. I have a lot of squares and rectangles in here. So what I do is I can just look at all the different pieces of my drawing and divide it up and do the area there. So these guys are pretty easy. They're just one square. So over here, I'm just going to put one and one. Now you can also do the math work on the back of this sheet or on a separate sheet. Some people like to do it on the side all around him. Now I see that this one has a base of one, two, three, four, five, and a height of one, two, three, four. So area 
equals base times height, area equals 5 times 4, area equals 20. S, Q, and I circle that. That's this piece. Now this neck is pretty darn easy. It's just two squares. I'll put a two up here. I don't need to do the formula for just one or two. Now I've got this big body. You have a couple options here. The first is my base is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my height is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if I know how to do seven times eight, I could very easily just do the area for this. But if you find that the math is too hard, well, couldn't I just do this area? And then I could do this area over here. I could divide it into even smaller areas and do smaller math. If I'm really struggling, I could just count the squares. And if I wanted to count all of these, that would still be okay. So for right now, I believe that we said it was seven by eight. So A equals, base times height, A equals 7 times 8, A equals 56 squares, and circle, that's this one. Now these are the same. This is a height of 2 and a base of 5. I'll write that over here. A equals base times height, 5 times 2, so this guy is 10 squares, right? But so is this guy. I can do the math twice, or I can just go plus another 10 squares. If you know they're even, it's okay to show me you knew the work for one and then just the work for the other. But you do want to make sure that you're circling it and writing the A equals, so later you know how to add it all up. Now look at this crazy shape here. I can do, I think I'll choose this as one rectangle and this long one as another. If I wanted to though, I would still get the same answer and not be incorrect if I wanted to do this one as one rectangle and then these two. It really is fine to do whichever you like. All right. so. This one has a base of 3 and a height of 4. That's 12 squares. And my last one is this guy. It's really quite long. So a height of 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm, I'll put that one up here. I did say 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes. Now, not quite finished. These are my numbers, but I have to add them all up. And sometimes people get confused about how to add all these numbers. But all you need to do is write them down. We have 22, 10, 10, 20, 56, 12, and then I have 2 and 1 and 1. 2, 1, 1. I am going to draw a line right here so I don't get confused. Then I just add up all of my units. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 2 more is 10, plus two more is 12, 13, 14, carry my one, one plus two is three, four, five, six, seven, seven plus five more is 12, 13. That means that my entire robot has an area of 134 squares. 
now that I'm finished, I can color him in. I can add more features. Um, let's give him some buttons, maybe an on button, an off button. And how about up here we have a clean my bedroom button. I think that sounds pretty good. I could color him all in. So this is area art. You can do something that's a real picture. Let's say you just don't feel very artistic. You can just do random lines. You would use your ruler. I'm not, so I'd better get out my ruler. And I could just do any geometric shape I want. Now, if you know the area of triangles, you could add a few triangles in here. If you don't know the area of triangles yet, then you don't need to worry about that. Mm, let's make it a little bit. We'll go up a little bit more. And then we'll go like this. And then maybe up a little bit. One more. And then maybe go this way. So I'm not really planning anything. I don't need it to be something that's realistic. But I am using all sh straight lines and geometric shapes. And just like for my robot, I can't just do one base and height for my formula on this. I have lots of rectangles and squares in here. So to do the math for this portion, I'll need to decide how I want my rectangles to look. So for instance, maybe I want this to be one rectangle, and I could do the area for that. Maybe I want this to be another rectangle. Um, let's see, ooh, this one could be really long. I could do that. There's a rectangle, a square of one in there. Let's say that's what I want to do. But I could draw it another way. I could make this one big rectangle. I could make this a big rectangle. It's up to you how you want to divide it. If you do the math right, you should get exactly the same numbers every time. And then again, you would write your formulas over here. So this is three, one, two, three, four. This is five, right? So you'd write your area. just like that, and then you would keep going for the rest. Circle it, then this one's finished. Then I would do this guy, then I would do this one, then this one. This is really great because one, it helps you with your area. Two, it helps you with your fine motor skills using your pencil and ruler. And three, it also really helps you with your times tables. So this is a really great option for you all to do. And I would like to see a big book of these colored in with all the math and uh, all the shapes that you know so far. And that is how to make art using area.